Join Mr. C for some fraction fun in this educational math video. Learning can be fun! If you like learning in exciting and engaging ways, then Talking Study Guides is for you! I'm Mr. C, and let's get started! Today, we're learning about fractions. Fractions are parts of a whole. If you've ever said to someone, can I have half of your candy bar? You are in fact using a fraction. Let's jump into fractions by comparing it to a food that many of us love. The beloved pizza. Now if we take that pizza and we cut it right down the middle, what we've made is halves. If we cut it again, we could make fourths. We could make eighths. We could make sixteenths. The more that you cut the pizza into equal pieces though, the smaller each portion is going to be. You could pretty much take a set of anything and turn it into a fraction as long as you have a numerator and a denominator. For example, let's take this set of fruit that we have in front of us. Now the denominator is going to be the total number of pieces of fruit that we have. The denominator is going to be three. Now if I say, how many are oranges? The fraction would be two over three because two of the three fruits are oranges. If you are adding fractions and they have the same denominator, Simply add the top numbers, but not the bottom numbers. Mixed numbers can be a bit tricky because they are whole numbers and fractions. Let's say you had a big party and you ordered a ton of pizzas. And then when everyone leaves, you look at what's left over and you have two whole pizzas and one fourth. That's actually a mixed number. The mixed number two and one fourth is the most common way we would describe how much pizza is left. However, there is another way. We could say it as an improper fraction. An improper fraction is when the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, we could say two and one fourth as a mixed number, but we could also say 9 over 4 as an improper fraction. We say that because there are 9 total slices of pizza left, and each pizza was cut into 4 slices. Let's say we're comparing the fraction 3 fourths versus 5 eighths and you're trying to figure out which fraction is bigger. You can start by drawing two rectangles of the same size. They have to be the same size. On the first rectangle, you are going to divide it into four equal pieces. You are going to shade three of those pieces in. On the second rectangle, you are going to divide it into eight equal pieces. You are going to shade five of those pieces in. Can you now tell which fraction is greater? Another strategy that you could use to compare fractions is the butterfly method. Let's say that you're comparing the fraction two-fifths and three-tenths. What you want to do is set up the fractions and you're going to cross multiply just kind of like a butterfly. You're going to multiply 2 times 10 and then you're going to write that number right above the 2. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply 3 times 5 and you're going to write the number right above the 3. So then what you have at the very top is two numbers. 20 and 15. You know that 20 is greater than 15, 
So as a result, that fraction on that side is the greater fraction. Let's try using the butterfly method to compare the fractions one half and two fourths. Now what happens here is gonna be very interesting. If we use the butterfly method, we're gonna do two times two, which is gonna give us four. We're also gonna cross multiply four times one, that's also gonna give us four. So we have two fours at the top of both of our fractions. What that means is these two fractions are equivalent. What equivalent means is they have the same value. So one half is equivalent to two fourths. All right, we've learned a ton about fractions today. There are four questions I'd like you to try. See how many you can get correct. Question one. In the collection of t-shirts, as a fraction, how many of the t-shirts are blue? Three-eighths was correct. Question two. I have a cake that is cut into six pieces. If two-sixths are eaten now and three-sixths are eaten later, how many were eaten in all? If you said five-sixths, you're correct. Question three. Which fraction is larger, one-half or one-fourth? If you said one-half, you are correct. Question four. How many cups of water do you see? If you said three and one-half, you are correct. Friends, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today, and I hope that you look at fractions in a whole new light. Maybe you could even convince mom or dad that buying a pizza could be a good math resource and a way to study fractions. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Let's see what we have here. Mmm, my favorite. Half bananas, half pickles. Whew, good stuff. Mm. That is a weird taste. Bananas on pizza. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching.